Hey guys, today we are talking about asymptotes found in rational functions and specifically in rational functions where one of the asymptotes is not horizontal. So number eight here, you can see I have graph and it has an asymptote that's slanted. There's a vertical asymptote right here, but it's that slant asymptote that's a little bit different. So for the vertical asymptote, you just have to see if there's an x value that cannot exist. If I put the number 3 right here for x, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 9 is 0. That gives me a denominator of 0. So the domain will not allow that. So you can see on this graph, at x equals 3, the graph will never touch that x value. So there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. But there's not a horizontal asymptote, there's a slanted asymptote. And here's how you can see from the equation that the uh, horizontal asymptote is not going to be there, but it's going to be slanted instead. In this case, I've got a degree of 2 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. I'm going to make those degrees match, so I'm going to add 0x squared to the denominator. That doesn't change the value because there's 0 of them. I can add 0 of anything anywhere I want without changing a value. So I've got 1x squared in the numerator and 0x squared in the denominator, and 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So that tells me there's not going to be a horizontal asymptote, but what's going to happen is there's going to be a slanted asymptote. And here's how I can find the equation of that slant asymptote. I'm going to divide 3x minus 9 into x squared plus 18. So we're going to use long division, 3x minus 9 goes into x squared plus, now here's a trick, I've got to put in 0x, I've got to have all my descending powers, 0x plus 18. So x squared divided by 3x, that x is going to cancel, and what I'm going to end up with is 1 third x. And when I distribute that 1 third x on 3x minus 9, 1 third x times 3x is x squared. And 1 third x times negative 9 is minus 3x. And I need to subtract those. x squared minus x squared is 0. 0x zero minus negative 3x is positive 3x. And then I need to bring down that plus 18. 3x divided by 3x is 1, so plus 1. And then I distribute that 1, and I get 3x minus 9, and I subtract that quantity. 3x minus 3x is 0. 18 minus negative 9 is 27. So I end up with a remainder of 27, so that's plus 27 over 3x minus 9. Now when I write the equation, what I have instead of a horizontal asymptote is a slant asymptote. And that is at y equals 1 third x plus 1. And I leave it at that, 1 third x plus 1. I don't put that denominator or that remainder in my equation. And the reason is that it makes no difference in the line because on the end behavior, as our x value approaches infinity and negative infinity, this denominator gets infinitely large, which means that this, um, this fraction here ends up approaching 0. So as we go out toward our end behavior, this remainder approaches 0 which means it does not make a difference in our line. So our slant asymptote is 1 third x plus 1. Here's another case where I'm going to have a slant asymptote because I've got a degree of 2 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. So I add 0x squared. 6 over 0 is 0. So I'm going to have a slant asymptote. First, though, let's put that vertical asymptote. 
3 times x minus 2 equals or cannot equal 0. So I'll just go up here and 3x minus 2 cannot equal 0. When I move that 2 over, 3x cannot equal 2. So I divide by 3 and I'll get x can't equal 2 thirds. So I'm going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2 thirds. So there's my vertical asymptote. For the slant asymptote, 3x minus 2 goes into 6x squared plus 0x minus 8. 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. And then I distribute that on 3x minus 2, 6x minus 4x. And I have to subtract that quantity, 6x squared. And that actually should be 6x squared right there. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0. 0 minus negative 4x is positive 4x. And I bring down the minus 8. 4x divided by 3x is 4 thirds. So plus 4 over 3. When I distribute that, 4 over 3 times 3x, it gives me 4x. And 4 over 3 times negative 2, that's going to be negative. 4 times 2 is 8, it's going to be 8 thirds. Four x minus four x is zero. Eight minus negative eight thirds. Now eight is the same as twenty-four over three. Twenty-four divided by three is eight. So I've got negative twenty-four thirds minus negative eight thirds, and that is negative sixteen thirds. So that's my remainder. So what that means is I've got minus sixteen over three times 3x minus 2. But again, as this x gets infinitely large or infinitely small, this right here approaches 0. So it's not going to make any difference in my line. My slant asymptote is that y equals 2x plus 4 thirds.